Hey guys, it's Ashley from Not A True Reviews and today we're unboxing Misfits Market. Um, this is my first box of the new year. If you're not familiar, this is an ugly, I use my quotation marks, uh, produce subscription box. You, everybody has the ability to customize. However, um, since they introduced that, I have actually not been able to customize my box because their system, so you go on and they tell you pick six from this group and six from that group or whatever. Um, if you can't, if things are sold out and there aren't six items to choose, uh, it doesn't allow you to. And I don't know how to fix that. And last, the past, I think two times, it's been two times it's happened. I don't know if it's consecutively, but whatever. Um, so that's something to think about for them, Misfits, if you ever see this. Um, it's kind of a bummer. So I don't know what's in here. I didn't choose this. Um, this is their larger Madness box. It's $35. Um, there is also a smaller Mischief box. Um, this is good for my family. I have four kids, two adults. Everything's organic, GMO, non-GMO, I should say. And uh, if you use my co code below, you'll get 25% off your next box and I'll get 25% off my next box. So that's a pretty sweet deal, babe, baby. All right, anyway, let's get in here. Um, they do have a limited shipping uh, area as well. I'm sorry, my mind is all over the place. This is like the first video I've made in a while and we lost our cat. Um, she ran out like three days ago and we just cannot find her. And I know everybody's gonna comment like all these things. We have done literally everything, everything to find this cat and she just disappeared. So please put some prayers and positive vibes out there that we find her anyway. I'm looking out the back window. I can see the little cat food thing we have outside. Anyway, um, so let's get in here. Uh, this, they do have a limited shipping area though. Uh, they do the Northeast and they're starting to branch out into the West. COVID really kind of put a damper on that. They have gotten their shipping back. Like it's quick, quick again. It was taking a while there, but that's obviously not their fault. Um, they do have an insert. They haven't been doing this recently, but I guess this week we do. Spice chicken thigh radicchio lettuce cups. I do not like radicchio, but I know it has places and, and, you know, purposes. Pickled pepper, date and cashew relish. That sounds not good. I don't anything about that I just does that spice rub chicken thighs this is all Bobby Flay though so they're probably delicious because I do trust Bobby Flay he's a food network cook and I trust him uh, I don't trust all those websites on the internet though I've been lied to <laughs> January brings the heat jalapeno and serrano peppers are often mistaken for one another but they're actually quite different our guide will help you uh, keep your cool when cooking the fire uh, I got a bunch of serranos in my last box we used those my husband really liked them he grilled them all right spicing up your food so this is interesting i've never seen this and this is brand new they haven't usually i'm sorry my nails are beat but whatever um usually this is all on their website but now they are putting it in the box which is interesting um so these are all the different items that could be in january boxes so we're gonna keep that because maybe i don't sometimes i don't know some of the things it's funny but true and then they do have a marketplace, and this is just an advert to get you to buy things in their marketplace. Those are up uh, up to 50 for 4% off, but it is at an additional cost to the box, obviously. All right, so this is all made with recyclable, um, biodegradable materials. Um, I do not have a pop socket on this new phone yet, so bear with me here. Uh, what's in here? What is you? So I'm guessing whatever is in this one. So these look like Roma tomatoes, which are my absolute favorite tomatoes. And there's two in, no, there's three in here. Three in here, so I'm guessing there's three in there as well. So six tomatoes, I love Roma. They're one of the only ones that I'll actually eat raw. <laughs> and we have a giant apple. So this is, what the heck kind of apple is that? Ambrosia gold. It's really big. I've never seen this size or this type, variety, I guess. Um... It's huge. It looks like a pink lady, kind of. Has that pink, I know the light's not perfect. It's uh, January in Pennsylvania, so. All right, so there's another one of those guys. And then we have some pears. My husband loves pears, so he'll be happy with this. These look like, are they Anju? Yeah, the Anju pears. So there's one of those. Actually, I'm trying to take pictures as I go through. <laughs> Sorry, that's weird. All right, let's keep it creepy. This looks like a celery root. Definitely is. So there's a celery root. I, I, you can tell I did not customize this because number one, I don't like celery. Secondly, 
I can't think of anything worse than celery except celery root. I'm sure we'll use it. They last, those root vegetables last for a long time, so that's nice. But yeah, not, not really pumped for that. All right, so here's another pear. All right, here's a bell pepper. Um, so one, two, three, and are there any more? I don't see any yet, but usually they come in like multiples, like doubles, so we'll see. Here's a green apple. Now that you can see, this guy's got this kind of weird thing on his skin. It's kind of a weird. He's got some sort of a skin disease. <laughs> and then there's a soft spot, but you know, it is what it is, right? All right, so there's one, two. Three. Oh, another pear. So that's three pears, three apples, and now a whole bunch of limes. I love fresh citrus, limes, and lemons. I use them in sauces. Uh, just every, like, just shove them in, like, all sorts of stuff. They're delicious. Something down here is kind of goopy, and I don't like that. So there's four, and this looks like a fourth pear. So a fourth pear. That's a big pear. Look at that. Wow. All right, I see mangoes. So these look like Tommy Atkins mangoes, I'm guessing. What does it say there? Organic Peru mango. Ooh, I can hear the, the nut inside it. That's crazy, I've never heard that before. That probably means something bad. That one doesn't happen. So two mangoes. Everybody in my family except me likes them, so we get them over. All right, this is what I think is slimy. There's a radish top, so a bunch of radishes. More radishes, big yikes. I'm sorry, I'm taking a picture. <laughs> it's completely selfish of me. All right, uh, this is a cucumber. It's just like regular cucumbers, not the English or anything like that. Great in salads. Ooh, second celery root. Yay. <laughs> All right. What are you? What is this? Oh, there. That's what. See, this is kind of slimy, but that's okay because these are beets, um, and that beet is bad. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, like that's like straight up. Like we will use almost everything, but that there, that does not look good, and it looks like it's spread. That's a big bummer. Oh. Anyway, more limes. More limes. Um. Two butternut squashes. What did I just make with butternut squash? And it was really good. Oh, I made Hasselback butternut squash. Super tasty. My husband doesn't like butternut squash that much. He confided that to me. He will eat anything, but he really was not. He's tired of butternut squash. So another thing of beets, and these look, oh, these are not good. Those are like that. Like, I don't mind ugly, but I don't want rotten. And like, I get that some things are rotten, but you're not gonna tell me that those, they couldn't look at those and be like, yeah, we're not gonna send that to people. It's just a bummer. Another green pepper. This is the first time I've gotten something where I'm like, that I can't. I'm like, unconscionable. Anyway, dang it. All right, so there's uh, some Yukon. These look like Yukon gold potatoes just because they look gold. So these kind of look like russet. So maybe it's just a mix of potatoes. Maybe I'm wrong about what kind they are. I'm not that bright, so. <laughs> Four. Oh, I didn't take a picture. Oh. And then um, some carrots. So there's three carrots down here and a bunch of like leaves to the, and one uh, radish, so three carrots. So for my $35 spend, I got the carrots I got the rotten beets. I got some apples, pears, mangoes, celery root, butternut squash, cucumbers, uh, radishes, potatoes, and what else did I get? Limes, green bell peppers. I mean, it's still an amazing deal. I'm not like, I'm not trying to be a brat. Oh, and the tomatoes, of course. So anyway, um, I think I still think it's a great box. I'm a little disappointed. I really wish I had gotten to customize this week, but that's okay. Anyway, if you're interested in checking out Misfits Market, check them out down below. And also check out my full review, which I'll link to as well. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.